what you have to do is you have to make a note that what and all that you learned from past from 12 weeks and you need to post it on a whatsapp group so me or anikala will be looking into it and will understand that how you guys have learned about the bible so now pause the video and take a note what is there on the screen and come back okay What happened? No one loves me to do. Sam? Who told you that? She was used to love me. Sam? Yes. No, Sam. How do you know that I don't love you? I'll always love you. You didn't even do a call or a text. <laughs> yeah, Sam, that's true. I'm really sorry, okay, for not calling you. Because, you know, we were so busy doing children's ministry and a lot of things. But, Sam, you know what? We what? always love you. And I always love you, Sam. No one loves me. Sam, let me tell you something, okay? I'll tell you a story, okay? Will you listen? Okay. See, there's a person. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus and he loves you so much. God said to me, so you know about Bible, right, Sam? Mm -hmm. So you know the scripture called John 3:16? Yes. So what does the scripture say? It says, God sent his only son in this world, you know, to die for our sins, so that we can be loved by God, right? So that shows Sam. That even if I don't love you, or even if I don't call you every day, even people don't love you, but Jesus will always love you, Sam. Sam, you know what? God's love is unconditional. Seriously, even if you're weak, even if you're strong, God loves you. Even if you're short, even if you're tall, He loves you. Even if you have like this style, PH style, or you know, however you look, it doesn't matter. It only matters to people, but for God, it doesn't matter, Sam. God always loves you so much. Want to know is that the reason Jesus died on the cross? Yes, Sam, that's true. Jesus died on the cross because he loved me. He loved you. He loved you also, Sam. He loved everyone in the world. So he died on the cross for our sins. And you know what? God accepts Jesus sacrifice for our sins and yeah oh, I didn't know that yeah that's true so now I will go and tell my friends too yeah okay Sam then go don't cry okay be happy God yeah. loves you so much bye love bye. You. bye Sam Sam it's God
so kids just want to let you guys know that god always loves us no matter whatever happens even if you're good if you're bad if you're tall if you're you know short fat thin you have beard or you don't have beard you know it doesn't matter but god love is unconditional and he always loves us Hi, Sido. I really need your help, Sido. What is it? Tell me. Sido, I received a letter from God. Wow! You received a letter from God? And I don't know what to do with this letter and I'm very scared to open it also. Sido, go ahead. Check it. What if God says any kind of punishment? No. Just check. Let's see. God doesn't say bad things. He always says good stuff. He says, accept my love. from Jesus wow sheer god is sending you a letter personally to you and you know what sheer god has given everyone a letter in this world and you know what it is the same letter no the bible the bible is god's love letter so why did god give this personal letter do you think because i was not reading bible daily Yeah, maybe. But what God is trying to tell you is that when He sends His letter, it means that He loves you, and God wants you to accept His love. What if I reject it? See, that you know what? You always have a choice to accept it or to reject it. But as a friend and as a brother to you, I encourage you to accept God's love. Are you sure? Yes. So I can understand God really well if I read Bible daily. Mm-hmm. So yes. you are saying that the whole Bible is God's love letter to us. Yes. But till now, we learn. Okay, kids. See, I received a letter from God because I was not reading the Bible. So I request you to read the Bible daily and understand what God has kept for you and His love for you. So the, today's third point is. we can accept god's love so go okay kids now we are at the final and the last point it is jesus is the beginning and the end kids do you remember that i was keep on telling you that the whole bible is filled with jesus exactly the each and every story in the bible it relates to jesus that means From the Genesis till Revelation, the Bible talks about only one person, that is Jesus. So, shall we look into a timeline? It's been a very long time, so that we can easily know that Jesus was there before and the end. So, shall we go to the first point? And what is the first thing which we can see? Yes, it's Earth. God created the Earth. You know, right? Kids, that when God created the Earth. Jesus was there. Uh, if you want to get confirmed scripture, you can go to John chapter one, verse one. Okay, so you can read that and you can easily see that Jesus was existed when God created heaven and earth. And when we go to our second point, yes, we got the Old Testament. And you know what? In the Old Testament, Jesus was there, and it has been written about Jesus in the Old Testament also. And after the Old Testament, yes, we can see as Jesus, the Savior, was born to fulfill all the prophecies which was done in the Old Testament, and He also came to save us from all things which we are doing in our daily life. And then, after Jesus' birth, Jesus died on the cross, and again after three days, He rose again to prove the whole world that He is still alive. And after that. so many jesus disciples jesus followers the people who knew jesus personally they started writing about jesus by the help of the holy spirit and they gave us the new testament and after that the holy spirit worked with the people and like he filled with the he filled so many people and 
in the Acts chapter, in the book of Acts, we can see that we can see a first church, right? And after that, all the Old Testament and the New Testament thing was combined, and we got our new Bible. And then we can see the next. It says now. That means this is the present situation which we are going in this world. And after that, kids, you know who is coming? Yes, it's Jesus. Jesus is gonna come and he's gonna save us from the evil world and he's gonna lift us up to the heaven. Okay? So, kids, once you have seen all the timeline here, one thing we can confirm that in all these timelines that we can see Jesus has been working consistently. One thing I want to say kids is Jesus is the Alpha and the Omega. And if you go to the Revelation chapter 22 verse 13, it says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. So kids, I know that you believe in all the scriptures, right? So according to Revelation chapter 22 verse 13, Jesus himself he revealed that he is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the first and the last and he is the beginning and the end. in God's Word, the Bible. The Bible is life-changing. For all of you who have always wanted to know God, to know if He's really there, to know if He really cares enough about you, read your Bible. He took such care for thousands of years to write a book with no mistakes, protected and kept it that way just for you. He loves you so much. I really encourage you kids, I hope this series has changed your life, has gotten you excited about God's beautiful love letter, the Bible. God, we thank you so much for the most incredible book to ever be written. Thousands of years, many, many authors, but one message, the message of love, the message of hope, a message that you're always here with us and you will always care about us. Thank you for the biggest gift ever. I pray as the kids are in their homes and we're coming off quarantine, God, that you would continue to keep them safe, keep them whole. Lord, as they're starting their classes online, give them the courage, the focus, and the discipline to sit and do those studies. That's hard. Jesus, until we meet again, I pray you would bless each and every one of them. We love you. In your name, amen. Kids, we'll see you next week for an exciting new series. Don't miss it.